You cannot win. No problem. Didn't work. Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, Saul. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. The force fights with me! How'd you like that? You ask! Time to rumble! Karth. Karth. The Admiral, he's still alive. It's time to finish this. Do you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> you didn't know. Dying words. <coughs> Remember them whenever, <coughs> whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! Ah! It can't be true, can it? No, no, no. It, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you.
Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Vassila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. <laughs>
Scanderous. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here.
Darth Malak. There you go! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured.
You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. No problem. Didn't work. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! <laughs> The door sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on.
Where's Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Basilic confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big! Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malak's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Commentary. I am... experiencing something unusual, Master. Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Observation. Indeed, I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. The others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I want to believe you, 
You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I'll under... Possibly be Raven, the one, the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Raven, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. Thank you for placing your confidence in me. I only wish I had your heart as well. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. can I do for you? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Hey there. Talk. Griff may be... You heard the Zerka rep. I can't... Yeah, what do you want? This thing with Joggy. I... Is there something else? Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong-arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge, but they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win. Just like all those years ago. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have. 
But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels like... Like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? Your ch Statement. HK. Commentary. That is statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. In time, my assassination protocol... Statement. A Commentary. Of course I do, Master. You are Revan. You are my master. The one who created... Got something on your mind. Did I say that? Strange the tricks memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Don't look at me like that, dammit. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. Well, I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace, but they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that, that was the day I met my wife. You know another way to get a wife? But yes, that's when I met her. I, if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies.
something on your mind? How many could you ask me? Sure. Your wish? Huh? Sure. Yiku kuno no ba mulera chikun. Tong hit kun chun ching. Ne bobo je mata ne punage. Runda di hotonga kun hankan. Takung ju stak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank. Ke puna! Buna nai chatu chi gratu loda bograshi on neon kumba chin tondo mutuba. Loda di takun. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun be. Tag this to Bunko Cookie Mac Panka. Ching Palachiska Mule, Tunarana, Nu Prata, Dunko Sicha, Dum Kuyami, Jus Chicata, Na Patoga Ya, Fulki, Gokola Gigi, Gawana Bot Atagua, Kagidora, Tikun Watatimon Manaman Atota, Haki Jukrata Bola, Shui Tongatong. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu i kachi kun ita haudonga. I king kuno ba. Tong abog sha uminong wonga ku. Kava dumpa ku palia mukapata. Bunana chaku. I kun kono bulema tolpa da bongwale ganduna gugu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bunana kuchu. Hawaga bos. We tam boragatong tong abog sha. Would you have any
I saw a crate dragon once. What do you need? You...
Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Oh, nobody's special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the Hawk here all the time. Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the Exchange, didn't it? Coraban's nice and remote. The kind of place the Exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling is what the Hawk was made for. You sure can. A star man. There's a whole bunch of old Sith ruins up on the surface of the planet. That's why. Yep. Take. Chibedwananibobo.ドンクナブンシャノンヤン。カチチュアイサハドンガ。インキンクノバムリラチクン。スリマポドンナ。ロンディハドンガクタコンジュスタクミキグラブモゴ。カチチュアイサハドンガ。